Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm in my home garden where we're gonna be picking mint and making a couple of things with it. I'm gonna be making a simple fennel salad with the mint and also mint tea. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, if you could please do so, so you can see future updates from my home garden, my kitchen and my allotment. Now mint is one of the one of the essentials because you can do so many things with it it's so incredibly easy to grow even if you haven't got a garden you could have some on your windowsill and still use it in your cooking and in your tea so i've got some in my garden so if we just come over here i've got plenty of mint springing up so i'm going to take quite a few leaves because i'm going to be doing tea and salad one of the really versatile things with mint is you can actually get different flavoured mints. Now I've got just normal mint, but I've also got strawberry mint and I've also got chocolate mint. So it kind of adds another element of flavour, especially if you're putting it in tea. So that just means there's lots and lots of different varieties out there. So you can pick one that best suits your needs or maybe a few like I have. So let's just take a few more bits. So I've got plenty. You know it grows for such as you can see here this has been growing for probably about a month now um, and it will grow right up until the really harsh frost so you've got it in your garden for a really long time so welcome to my kitchen and now i'm going to show you how to make mint tea it's really 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 simple so i've got a little bit of mint here and i've got a kettle that's already boiled so you just chop the mint a little bit just to get the flavor out more i've got a suki teapot to do my tea in. It's really, really handy because it has a filter built into it. If you didn't have one of these, you would need a tea strainer so bits don't go into your drink. So you just pop it into the little cavity and just pour the water in and hey presto, you have mint tea in about five minutes time to drink. So it's mint's very, very nutritious for you, aids digestion and it's full of lots of essential vitamins. So a really useful thing to have and free and without plastic. So the next thing I'm gonna show you how to make is a simple salad using mint. So it's a recipe that I use a lot and it's actually from a Jamie Oliver book. So what you need is a food mixer to slice all the vegetables up in. Now if you didn't have this, you just have to slice it by hand. So you get your attachment with the thin slicer facing up and you put it into your food mixer. So the ingredients you need for this are bulb fennel, celery, lemon, good olive oil and salt and pepper. Now I'm not going to use all of these, I'm going to do about half of this today. So I'm going to take a good few stalks off of this and pop them in. And basically you're just using the food mixer to slice everything up. So you can use more celery, if you want to use more celery you can do slightly different salad ingredients if you want but this is just a rough recipe that i use a lot so you just put it into the mixer and let it thinly slice the next thing you add is some fennel so i'm going to slice my fennel in half because we're starting with a bit all in one go take out the really woody bit at the bottom because I don't want that in my salad so this might or might not fit in in one go I might have to slice that yeah it's a little bit too big so I'm going to have to water that and put that in and then just pop that in and slice it whoops each time in between blitzes just for safety so pop the other bit in and then the lemon this is too much lemon for one salad so again cut the bottom off so it sits more nicely in the, in the slicer and then just cut it in half Pop half the lemon in the blender and mix it up. So that's all our 
ingredient sliced that needs to be sliced. I'm just going to take the blade attachment off. And as you can see, everything's really nicely sliced. So just remove any larger pieces that you don't want in your salad, because obviously that would be a little bit too chunky. So just pop that into a bowl. And then we will add some chopped meat with olive oil and salt and pepper. So let's just get the meat, move these bits out of the way. Again, add as much mint to your liking. If you like it really minty, put lots in. If you don't, then just a little bit. So gently chop this up. So this salad goes with lots of things. It's particularly nice with fish. I'm probably gonna have it with an omelette and the eggs from my own chickens, because we seem to have quite a lot of those at the moment. So there we go, roughly chopped. And we will just pop that into the bowl, a little bit of olive oil, maybe a couple of tablespoons there, a bit of salt, and pepper, and then mix it with a spatula just to combine all the ingredients. It normally keeps for a few days if we don't eat it in the first sitting. So I hope that's been really useful and you're going to include mint in your garden or, or on your windowsill and that these recipes will be something you'll enjoy as much as we do.